Welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm here with Steven Taylor. I know you know this guy. And we're going to talk a little bit about hot water. Now, Steven, the thing that's always interesting to me is why do people choose hot water heating over maybe steam heating? If they don't need steam, they don't need the temperature or the pressure, then you actually waste energy by heating the water up. You know, if it's 15 pound steam, then you're up at 225 uh, 235 degrees where with hot water 180 is all you need mm -hmm. so that's BTU you're wasting so if, if the entire system is strictly hot water they'll typically go with hot water boiler instead of instead of steam just more efficient so what's the difference between hot water for heat for process um, maybe even domestic water it's it's the same same issue it's all it's all about temperature if you okay. don't need the temperature that's created by the steam then it's more efficient to use hot water. You're not putting that extra BTU into that steam, then then convert it to hot water. So it's just more efficient to use hot water from the from the get-go. And I hear people talk a little bit about um, domestic hot water. What actually is that? Domestic hot water is potable water. In other words, that's water that you and I can drink, that we take a shower with, that's domestic. Heating hot water, heating hot water you can use cast iron and steel, domestic hot water, that's something again that, that is gonna be you know food grade or, or we're gonna gonna come in contact with us personally, then it has to be all copper, all stainless steel. There can't be any iron in there that's gonna rust and, and cause things to give us problems down the road. Now what we're standing in front of is an RBI Futera. Um, is it domestic or is it just hot water? What is it? It's both. Mm. It can be either or. Okay. And the, the the thing that uh, you know it and it, it you can can use it either for either process, either one you want to use it for. You just make sure that that when you order the the equipment that you know what your delta T's are. Delta T being incoming temperature, outgoing temperature, because there there's a, a limit there of how how what that span can be. Okay. So that that's the biggest issue on those. And typically on a heating application, those are set. Domestic, they're not. So on a domestic, you'll have to have a storage tank so you can circulate water through it so you can keep that delta T the same all the time on that boiler. Okay. Why don't we go around the back, take a look about uh, really how it actually works. Okay. okay. All right. Well, we're at the back of the boiler and actually where all the stuff happens. So, Steve, why don't we just talk real quick about how this actually works. What do we have here? Okay. Typical system. Got natural gas coming in, regulator coming in, vent coming off of it. Natural gas valve for uh, control of the of the fuel going into the unit, make up air coming in for the for the burner, exhaust coming out. That's the stack, okay. and then these are the inlet and outlet uh, piping for the flow of the water itself. Circulating pump so we can have a continuous flow all the time through that boiler. Mm -hmm. uh, pressure gauges so you know what you have. Balancing valve here so we can balance the flow through the unit. Uh, relief valve to protect the entire system. That's pretty much it. Uh, so, flow switches. So now can, it can be used as a closed loop system. I mean, both or I mean, how does it work? E either one. It can be a closed loop system. And that's typically what you'll have. It'll be a pressurized system. Even if it's hot water for heating, yeah. it'll still be a closed loop pressurized system. Normally they're going to run 30, 40 pounds. Mm -hmm. uh, domestic water typically is a little higher than that. Mm -hmm. It'll be 60 to 80 pounds. That's typically what you have out of your, your sink in your house or whatever. Same thing in a, a shower, in a, in a gymnasium, wherever it is. It's the same system. There'll be a higher pressure on domestic. But the domestic would be more of a 100% makeup. 100% makeup, 100% makeup system, and that's another reason you want, you know, this thing's got a stainless steel heat exchanger, uh, it's either all copper or stainless, that, that's one, another reason you want that. When all that makeup water, you've got a lot of minerals going through there, so you don't, uh, you don't want iron in there, it's going to collect deposits and cause problems. Well, let's go outside. Now, I talked to you uh, a couple weeks back about some exciting things that's going on at Ware, and what we were actually in was a hot water rental boiler. And you also see that we've got quite a few units um, that we have that is coming to our customers. And I wanna talk a little bit about hot water rental, um, really what it's actually you know, for. Uh, these are two million units, but what if you needed four yeah. uh, million? Yeah, we've set these things up and we've actually got uh, um, uh, configurations inside that, that we'll send with units that need more than one where we can tie two or three of them. If they have a four million B3 load, we'll just tie these into a, a manifold that mm -hmm. we built up. Six million, same thing. Very seldom you ever get more than six million on, on a system like this. Um, so we set them up to where they could, could stack them up and, and give them as, as much hot water as what they need. 
Now, when they pipe these up, is it typically using hoses, or how do you use it? They're, they're typically using hoses. They're all temporary stuff, and, and we've got uh, storage in here. We're, we're sending two 10-foot sections with each unit, mm. uh, and then we have additional hoses that we can provide for them if they, if they have a bigger distance than that. Yeah, and typically in our steam units, we're, we've got rigs, trucks. This is a little bit different that we're going to... It's completely different. We designed this thing where they can be moved very easily. Three-quarter ton pickup, two and five sixteenths inch ball, so anybody can come in with their pickup, hook to it, take off down the road, and, and put them where they need them. There's, there's, they're small, compact, easy to move around. We wanted to make them as simple and easy for the customer to operate as humanly possible. That's what we've done. How about the hookups? Um... Hookups are, are, again, everything outside. We, didn't, we don't want them to have to assemble anything when they get it to the job site. Everything is pre-piped inside. The stack is already there. They don't have to touch the stack. They got three connections out here, inlet water, outlet water, natural gas. That's it, they're ready to go. Typically these uh, units are rented um, on a monthly basis or how are you doing that? These are actually, it, it, the industry's a little different. These are on a weekly basis instead of a monthly basis. Um, pricing is still, you know, comparative to the, to the steam units. So yeah. it, it doesn't, doesn't matter a whole lot. Yeah. Well, there you have it. We are excited here at Ware about uh, the new additions of all the hot water units. We've got several more that we're actually building. You see a big line, but there's some more that are coming off the line uh, they are. as we speak. So uh, we're excited. And if you ever need a hot water rental, you know that you can give Stephen and the guys a call. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Appreciate Stephen hanging out with us today, talk about that hot water, but also just how excited we are about all of our rental units. Well, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you don't mind, maybe subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, share a video. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.